Which primate spends 50% of their time on the ground as opposed to up in the trees? Well, we're going to the dry deserts of Madagascar to find out on this week's episode of Kiki's Fun Animal Facts. Today we're going to learn about ring-tailed lemurs. Now, ring-tailed lemurs are known as lemur cata and they're part of the lemuridae family. Now, they're very social creatures and they live in a group known as a troop. Now, troops can be from 6 lemurs to 30 lemurs, but they average around 17. Ring-tailed lemurs are the most studied of all lemurs and they're the most recognizable of all lemurs as well. Now, lemurs are mostly herbivores. Now, they'll feed on flowers, bark, plants, sap, and the occasional invertebrate like insects. Now, one of the reasons why they spend about 50% of their time on the, on the forest floor as opposed to in the trees is because their food is sparse and non-continuous. So they will actually travel far out into their territories so that way they can find their different sources of vegetation and food. Now, lemurs have what's known as sexual dimorphism. Sexual dimorphism means that there's a difference between genders in animals. Now, this is most notably common in lions, baboons, and many species of birds. Now, lemurs have sexual dimorphism where the males actually have stink glands on their wrists and they use those stink glands to fight with rival males. Now, what they'll do is that they'll take their long tail They'll take their long tail and they'll rub their wrists on their tail and then they'll proceed to throw it at the <laughs> they'll proceed to throw it at the other males to kind of stink bomb them out and get them to go away. And yes, males do have what's known as stink wars. Now, as you can see, lemurs have a very distinctive black and white tail. Now, they use that tail as kind of like a flag to let the other lemurs know where they are at all times. It also lets the leader of the troop know that all of her lemurs are accounted for, kind of like a lemur head count. Now, besides those really cool tails, lemurs also have a grayish body. Sometimes it can go from reddish to brownish as well, but mostly gray. They also have black patches on their feet and their hands. Also, they have white underbellies and white patches on their face, as well as black patches around their eyes. It kind of keeps the glare from the sun out of their face. Now, lemurs can grow to 17 inches from head to base of tail. Now, the tail can be about 21 inches long. Lemurs can weigh from five pounds to seven and a half pounds, and they can live from 18 to over 20 years in managed care. Also, unfortunately, due to the encroachment of their dry forests in Madagascar, wild ring-tailed lemurs are endangered. Now, just like us, Lemurs actually have a many variety of distinct natural calls and uh, facial expressions. They use about 28 distinct vocal expressions, 22 of which are used by adults, and six of which are used by infants. Now, they will actually use distinct calls just for warning for predators. Now, natural predators for lemurs can be birds of prey, dogs, and feral cats, and the uh, snakes, and don't forget about the fossa. Now, fossa are carnivorous cat-like creatures endemic to Madagascar. Lemurs are actually a matriarchal society, which means that uh, it's the head female that's in charge. 
Now, even the male will take over babysitting the babies. That's a term known as alloparenting. The males actually benefit from taking care of other lemurs' babies because that gives them a good light in the eyes of the other female lemurs. And those male lemurs that do all the babysitting could possibly end up being future daddies as well. Oh, yeah. Now, baby lemurs will actually cling on to their mothers for the first three weeks of their lives. Now, after one week, they'll start eating solid food, and after uh, three to four weeks old, they'll start walking on their own and becoming more independent. Now, after six months, they are completely independent from their mothers and will go with the rest of the adult lemurs. Now, uh, in the hierarchy of the lemurs, the females will actually stay with their birth group while the males go off and join other, uh, other troops, so that way it's not so much in the family. Lemurs actually have a reflective layer behind their retina that enhances night vision. This is actually very unusual for a dineural species. Dineural means that they're awake during the day and they sleep during the night. I have a question. How many black stripes do all ring-tailed lemurs have on their tails? 10? 20? varies from lemur to lemur, or 13. It's actually B, 13. They have 13 black stripes on their tails. Now, unlike a lot of other primates, lemur tails, ring-tailed lemur tails are not prehensile. Now, uh, they can't use their tails to swing on the trees. They actually use these tails, like I said before, as kind of like a flag to let the other lemurs know where they are at all times. In the morning, lemurs will come out and they will go into a yoga pose position. This is where they will sit on their hind legs, spread their arms, close their eyes, and soak up the warmth of the sun. This is what's known as sun worshiping. And this is something they do to warm up after the chilly night of sleeping. Now these, are, these guys are called Maki in Malagasy, which is the language of the people in Madagascar. Maki means ghost. And now they're called that because of their haunting sounds and because they're elusive. I'm glad we got to discover more about the ring-tailed lemurs. Now, if you like this episode or if you learned something today, make sure you give us a like, a comment, and a subscribe so you can learn more about amazing animal facts. You can even follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon, and the links will be in the description below. We'll be talking about our next amazing animal, and the hint for that animal is down there in the description below. Now, the joke is, what is a tree mammal's favorite band? And the answer is Squirrel Jam. <laughs> so we'll be talking about American Grey Squirrels next week. So stay tuned to learn more about these amazing animals. And thank you very much for watching Kiki's Fun Animal Facts. See you next week. Thanks for sticking around for the conservation shout out. Now, the conservation for this week is the Lemur Conservation Fund. Now, this AZA accredited conservation uh, is located in Mayaca City, Florida, and it has lemurs of all species. You can actually help these guys out by donating at the link I put at the bottom. And of course, they help out Madagascar lemurs by addressing their climate deforestation and they help out the human population from overpopulation, illiteracy, and even deforestation. Now, if you wanna help donate to this fund and if you wanna help save the lemurs, uh, you can always, like I said, go down to the bottom of the description and click on the fund I listed below. Now, thank you very much for joining us for Kiki's Fun Animal Facts. I hope to see you next week. And remember, you can save the planet by doing little things, such as turning off the lights when you're not using them, turning off the water when you're brushing your teeth, and much more. Now remember, it only takes one person to change the world for the better. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you next week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.